Well, the House is back in session this weekend, and lawmakers in Washington, D.C. today are expected to pass a bill to fund the embattled U.S. Postal Service. The legislation would provide $25 billion in funding and ban controversial changes to the agency. Britt Conway has a closer look. Saturday session, the Democrat-led House voting on legislation allocating $25 billion for the financially strapped agency. The American people do not want anyone messing with the post office. The bill also aims to ban operational changes that have slowed down mail service around the country. Democrats argue the changes would have hurt mail-in voting ahead of the November election. But during a Senate hearing Friday, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy denied those claims. House Republicans argue the agency is not running out of money and will have enough funds to handle election mail. The Postal Service has over $15 billion cash on hand. That's enough to keep it solvent until August 2021. The bill's future depends on passage in the Senate. If the Republicans in the Senate refuse to take it up, they're just going to have to answer to their own constituents uh, why they don't want their mail delivered in a timely fashion. The Republican-led Senate has not confirmed whether it will even consider the legislation for a vote, and the White House has threatened a veto. <laughs> The vote comes as calls grow for the postmaster to resign, with rallies taking place in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Texas. But we also want the American people to understand it's not just about voting. It's about veterans getting their benefits checks. It's about Social Security checks going out on time. I'm Britt Conway reporting. Well, Indiana Republican Congressman Larry Bouchon says Congress needs to work in a bipartisan way to address issues with the USPS, but he does not agree with giving the USPS any more money. Well, I think the big problem is, is their volume of first-class mail is down substantially over the last 10 years since the advent of electronic communication. So we need to look at the business model. And, you know, I think we need to uh, have the American people say, okay, what do we want in a postal service? And Postmaster DeJoy is scheduled to testify again before the House Oversight Committee on Monday.